Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is a timeless reading for yourselves. Um, this is the tarot cards reading that I'm doing for you as well. Um, so what I'm going to do then, um, I'm going to cleanse the um, room and I'm going to cleanse the cards. Again, I have cleansed them just before also, but I want to cleanse them again from the other readings that I have done. Okay, let's get and uh, sort this bit out and then we'll get down to your reading. the hanged man this is a pisces um water zodiac sign that you may be um at, around you at this time so what the hanged man is about then this is about you going to be surrendering something or someone's going to be surrendering something to you there is to be some sort of sacrifice that is um coming in as well there is feelings of being a bit despair with a lot of um, negativity that may be involved with this as well. Either you or someone else is literally trying to rush into a certain situation, um, you know, having that sense of never stopping to think things through as of yet, just go in for it head first. Some of you may be feeling a bit victimised at this time or feel like you are tied up in a certain situation. You may be a bit restricted also, and there is a lot of personal security and stability um, that you're trying to be focusing upon at this time. Um, but what you need to learn is to trust that life is going to be supporting you in the right direction that you need to go to. Okay, the next card then is the Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth Signs. Um, so this is um, your energy, which is some results that is coming in for you. This could come in a form of a reward or some type of profit or payout. Um, there may be some dividend shares that's come in, a big bonus, um, some benefits or a large inheritance. Some of you may be having some type of trust fund that you are going to be um, having as well or focusing upon. There is a lot of nurturing something as well, something new, nurturing. Um, there is money that's going to be growing and there is a lot of like savings that you're going to be saving as well. There's a lot of progress and hard work paying off and very determined to get it all done and dusted with. Some of you may be going through some personal fulfilments at this time because there's a lot of patience, but there is also some uh, options coming in as well. For some of you, you may be into um, cleaning up the environment, like doing farming or doing cutting grass or doing weeding or clearing um, the environment up. So there is a sense that some of you are gradually trying to slow down for retirement um, as well. So you may be coming to the terms that you come in near to your retirement. Next card we have then is Reverse Six of Swords, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, A Zodiac signs that's coming in. Um, there is to be the feeling of having a lot of delays and something is not progressing the way it should be. There's feelings of being stuck with a lot of restrictions and feeling hopeless as well. There may be a, lot, a lack of help that is coming in for you and someone or something is going to be stopping you in your tracks. Um, there is also um, deciding to stand your ground in a certain situation also and stand up to someone. Um, there may be a lot of conflict and running away with this as well or someone's going to be stirring up some trouble but there is no way to run so to speak. Next card then is the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth, Zodiac signs. So either yourself or someone else is very mature, um, have a sign of success. So there's a lot of maturity with a lot of success, with a lot of wealth and a lot of luxuries. 
um, a strong holding business with a lot of qualifications, your business or whatever it is that you're doing is going to be thriving. You have a lot of ambitious. There may be a lot of assets and possessions and investments that's coming in for you. Um, you have that, that indulgence and stability and security about you, um, like a, a protective type of aura as well, a very hard working person, maybe involved with the enterprise. Um, there's a lot of patience and being careful and um, don't do any risk taking whatsoever. Um, not a gambler, more of a provider and very reliable and friendly and like supporting people. Um, can be very dependable and generous um, and have a lot of values being fully committed in anything you or this person is undertaking. Um, very, very faithful. Either you or this person may be a banker or involved in trading, um, or maybe a merchant or a crafter, or work with animals, or working with properties, or exercising, or a nutritionist. Something of that nature that's coming through. Four of Pentacles then is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth Signs. Um, there is financial stability coming in for you, uh, security and a lot of savings and investments, um, a business that's going to be taken up as well, um, a lot of wealth. Someone may be a bit of a miser or a penny pincher. Someone may be a bit selfish and a bit stingy with a lot of money obsessions and a lot of possessions as well. For some of you, this is hanging on to something a lot. Um, someone may be a bit of an order. Um, either you or this person may have some stomach problems like to do with like constipation due to all stress that you may have gone through in the past. Um, but there is a lot of success that's coming in as well. For some of you, if you're still in school or college, this is success in um, exams as well and keeping things close to your chest. Three of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire, Zodiac signs. So there is a travel on the horizon, a vacation or a relocation where there's a lot of um, growth for a very bright future ahead of you. There is some receiving support for some of you with a lot of good fortune, um, having that self-confidence, having a lot of success and making efforts and making things happen in general to what you want. There's um, a sense of freedom and a overseas opportunity or a overseas relationship that you may be involved with. And for some of you, there may be a sense of someone or something that's going to be adding to your family. Reverse seven of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire, zodiac signs. So there needs to be a sense of being very overwhelmed um, and giving in to someone or something and stepping down um, where there is a lot of indecisions and doubts. You may be a bit paranoid at this time or aggressive. There may be a bit of foul play or sharing territory or going through some type of compromise with someone at this time also. Judgment card is the Scorpio Zodiac sign. And this is about a good or bad that's going to be um, coming out for you. Something's going to be exposed and learning to accept full responsibilities and forgiving or asking for forgiveness at this time. There is a lot of awakening clarity that's coming in. There's a lot of confessions coming out, fighting for a cause or a lot of determination. And there's also some clear um, communication that's coming in also. Reverse nine of wands then, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Zodiac, fire signs. So someone is going to be a bit stubborn um, or making things awkward. Either you or someone else is wanting their own way, a bit standoffish and looking for trouble. There may be a bit of isolation going on and extreme paranoia. Someone is actually going to be acting a bit suspicious um, and there's a lot of burdens and giving up hope. There is retreat and being withdrawn but a lot of delays that's going to be um, around you also at this time. The reverse moon, this is all about um, things that's not going to be a success for some of you. There is that sense of um, uh, 
overwhelm this with a lot of fears that you have going on that is um putting the past behind you and need to sort some problems because there is things that have been hidden from you or you're hidden that is actually going to be coming to light also someone needs to watch their back at this time and they're saying that there is to be some type of spirit disturbance that's coming in as well at this time reverse seven of cups pisces cancer scorpio signs that's coming in so things are actually going to become a reality for you there is um, an awakening and realizing something or situation this is about putting the priorities first and gaining clarity there is to be some resolutions and resolving things being very determined um, having a lot of responsibility to do things some of you are going to become a bit sober if you have any addiction to alcohol you are actually going to be coming out there and going to gain sober and there is a sense of cleaning up your act and getting your home in order some of you may be having a loss of um, dreams that's going to be coming true for yourselves um, and achieving goals at this time uh, there may be a bit of missed opportunities for some of you as well and avoiding some type of issues that is at hand as well so trying to try and get out of it others of you are going to be a bit spaced out or drugged up or have some sense of fogginess um, around this time as well so just be careful with that reverse high priestess this is pisces cancer scorpio signs so there is to be um, ignoring your intuition at this time, um, being very impatient with a lot of frustrations. And for some of you, there is the end of an isolation and needing to be left alone. To um, Some of you are getting it's going to be suffering in silence and that's the only way you can deal things is by being alone. Um, and others is choosing to be single um, and stay in that way your own choice some of you may be a bit hormonal at this time and um, be a bit lazy time some of you may have um, a baby that is going to be overdue at this time and others is relying on mediums too much or constantly watching youtube things that's all to do with tarot cards and things um relying on that too much for some outcome for you um what you need to know so to speak okay Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Libra, sorry, um, Zodiac signs. So there is to be um, some plans and ideas coming in. There is some inspiration. Some of you may have an enemy that is going to be um, watching you at this time. So be very vigilant, be alert, but also be guarded as well. Be very protective. Um, you are going to be a bit defensive as well, but you need a lot of courage. Um, you may have some mental challenges at this time, but you want to be honest, you want to be truthful, you know, be direct and because there is a lot of facts that is need to be said that is going to be a bit fair. You're going to realise what standards you have, you know, understand that you've got good morals. You are a very good communicative type of person. You're going to come to some type of negotiation with someone. Um... There is someone that is very, very talkative and very witty. Could be a public speaker or a politician. Someone is a very curious thinker that could be very, very serious when they want to be. They have a lot of stress and worries and a lot of concerns. They can be a bit agitated on times, but they are very, very brainy. They have a lot of high achievements that they have, a lot of qualifications. This person may have been a soldier or they actually like spying as well. So for some of you, you may be having some news about some type of legal um, things that's going on. And this could be linked to a child um, or some type of gossip that is going on. You then have the reverse Ace of Cups. Reverse Ace of Cups. Okay, so this says Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Water and Zodiac signs. So this is being, feeling very, someone's very unhappy. Um, this could be to do with an unrequited love, um, being very disappointed um, in love situation, being a bit delusional, 
with a lot of sadness and pain and upset because there is a loss. For some of you, there could be a breakup or some type of overindulgence and depression that are coming in. For others, this could be linked to some type of fertility or miscarriage, which has become some type of upsetting news to some of you and is making you very emotionally drained and um, very spiritually and physically detached and disconnected also. You then have the reverse star. And let's see what this one is going to say. So this is an Aquarius sign. Um, so you're going to be going through a phase where you feel like nothing is going your way. Your hopes and dreams to come down and is shattered. Um, there's no faith. Um, you're not moving on. There may have been some type of escape from some type of abuse. Or there's a lot of overwhelmness that have been going on. Um, and this is about thinking of yourself and putting yourself first and don't think about anyone else. Others of you, you just no bothered or no interest in a certain situation or certain person um, at the time. Right, reverse Queen of Swords. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Zodiac sign. So someone is a very much of a perfectionist, very obsessive in nature, compulsive, a bit of like a damaged good, so to speak. Um, they may be a bit of a pessimist. They could be negative to people with cold-hearted, um, bitter and vindictive. They can be a bit malicious and nasty and cruel when they want to be and they seek punishment. Um, there is also a sense of unforgiving someone because someone may be a liar, a cheat, very dishonest that like to play mind games. Um, there is to be lessons that haven't been learned. You may be going through some counselling or some stress to do with being separated or divorced. This could be linked to a wicked stepmother or a mother of that nature. This could be to do with an absent, cold-hearted mother as well, or someone that, that has some fertility issues that is seeking some type of privacy at the moment. Reverse Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth Signs. So someone is going to be getting fired. Um, there is a sense of unemployment at this time. Someone may be doing something that is tr um, strings attached, so just be careful. Um, there is a boost of power and position by someone. There's a lot of discrimination. Someone being a bit judgmental. There is a sense someone is getting underpaid or there is an unpaid loan with a lot of bad debts, there may be loan sharks that's coming in or some type of social welfare fraud in the works. There may be also a theft or someone that is a pickpocketer um, doing many scams and being a con person and then others then it could be someone that is actually too generous um, and others that got a lot of need, you know, very needy all the time and they don't ask like people all the time. Three of Pentacles. Um, this is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, all the Earth signs. So there's to be a growth coming in. Either you or someone else is going to be studying or learning or gaining um, a scholarship. There may be a mentor or some type of teamwork going on with like an apprenticeship. There is some material growth coming in, building a proper solid foundation for you and someone else. A strong commitment that's coming in, a long term plan. Some of you may be into craftsmanship um, where there's a lot of quality and dedication and making sure things are attention to detail, so to speak. Um, there's a lot of hard work going on that is leading to some type of promotion or recognition and a lot of achievements. And efforts are actually going to be paying off at this time as well. You are going to be very determined, be very goal orientated. There may be some type of renovations going on or building trade or architecture or some type of plans of that nature that's coming in also. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn signs. So there is a commitment coming in. Um, someone that is a very hard working person, that's very patient, um, very cautious and ambitious. They may also be a business person that has a lot of long-term plans they may be an animal or nature lover they can be a bit territorial they could be a farmer or an outdoor worker 
there is a sense of bit of a possessiveness with this person that can be very protective and stubborn but also strong and reliable and responsible and times very honest very friendly and loyal tenacious when they want to be but very much down to earth last one is reverse queen of pentacles so it's taurus virgo capricorn um so someone is coming in that is money money mad uh, someone may be a money grabbing person, someone that is adventurous, um, someone could be shallow, very self centered, and unfriendly, someone that may be a bit jealous and have a lot of envy and possessiveness. This person could be a wicked type of person, very, very wicked, that is untrustworthy, with a lot of insecurities that could be very unsuccessful, with a lot of financial loss and poverty. Um, there may be some poor housekeeping that's with this person. They could be a bad cook or they could be in a lot of chaos and neglect. Things getting out of control. This person may have a lot of overweight problems or being stuck in a rut. They may have um, others could be just OCD. There may be an illness for someone or child neglect or animal neglect that's um, coming forward. Someone that can be very tedious and boring but stubborn. And it could be some type of prostitution or abuse that this person may be involved with. Okay then Capricorn, so that is your reading. I hope you will resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I see you all again soon. Bye.